Hello everybody, I truly hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm going to be talking you through the update from last video where we were looking at that bearish triangle which broke to the downside and had the target of $19,150. Well that target has now been hit. The short trade that I was in is now in $120,000 profit from just over the weekend and I'm going to explain why I'm currently still expecting lower here on the Bitcoin chart. So if that sounds interesting to you, you know what to do. Stay tuned, pay full attention, and let's get into what we love. And that is the technical analysis here on the Bitcoin chart. So yeah, as mentioned, I'm in that short position. We have hit the target, but I am expecting lower right now. So let me just show you and remind you what we had going on. And then obviously, I'll talk you through what we're looking at for the week to come Monday. Here we go. So obviously we had that triangle form at around $20,000 and that prime triangle broke to the downside. While we were still within the triangle, we knew if we broke to the downside, the chart target is 19,150. And what happened? We broke to the downside to give 19,150 as the target. Well, go over the weekend of price action. We started to form this really nice range where we were simply range bound between the value area high and value area lows. Nice rejections off the value area high there. And what happened this morning, we obviously came down and we hit that target. We hit the triangle target. From hitting the triangle target, we had a nice bounce to retest the point of control of the range. Okay, rejection and a retest of the CC where we got another little bit of a bounce to test the value area low. So as mentioned, that's really as simple as it gets. We had a triangle, triangle broke to the downside, triangle target was 19,150. We hit the triangle target of 19,150. This was the range that I gave to my team over in the Discord to trade for the weekend. That was the range. We bounced off the triangle target and we bat tested the point of control. Simple as that. That's what we do at Chart Champions. I keep it very, very, very simple indeed. So there's no confusion. There's no wondering what if, what if. It's just here's the target. We hit the target. We get a bounce. We test the point of control. I'm staying in my short and I'm expecting lower. So why is that then? Well, for me, this is still real big weakness as well when you look at the ES. Okay, the ES is also very weak this morning. It's coming back and it's back testing the value area low at the moment. But nevertheless, for me, this is big weakness in the chart. Uh, there's no reason for me to close my shorts. I am expecting still lower. So let me just remove the triangle target. That triangle has been hit. That target has been hit. But I foresee that we have a nice, nicer level to the downside, which is still not hit. Okay, and I'll, I'm basically going to look at the reaction here. Do we get a nice sort of swing failure pattern into this level? Or are we going to be getting some sort of, um, you know, just simple continuation to the downside? For me, this is going to be really heavily judged by what happens at the ES here, whether it's swing failure patterns, it's last low. Okay, and if that happens, then I think there's a high likelihood that we can get the swing failure pattern of this. But if the ES continues weak um, and really simply continues its downwards um, you know, <laughs> downwards move at the moment, then I am expecting this daily level to be broke. So for me, it's really simple right now. Okay, it's really, really, really simple. Okay, I'm in the short position. I am not closing my short yet. I've not even taken heavy profits on it. Why? Because I still foresee there's another move to the downside here to come. Thus, I am, I've made my plan. And now I'm trading my plan. My plan now is going to be that we're coming lower on the Bitcoin chart. And from here, I will judge the reaction. Do we form a swing failure pattern or failed auction? If yes, well then I can take profits on those sh on that short trade. If no, well simply I can look down towards my next level to the downside. Okay, what could be my invalidation of that? Well, my invalidation currently is actually a reclaim of the value area high. Why? Because for me, if we get into that value area low again, I'm, I'm just really not foreseeing any strength here. This, this for me looks bearish on every front that I look at. So... I just, I'm trading the charts. I, I'm really just truly trading the charts. We are, every time, every bounce, we get bearish divergences. I mean, you see this on the bounce into the POC. It's just like bearish divergences all over the place. Um, the stock market is weak. There's weakness across the board. I mean, I'm in a really nice short position. Um, during what we've been doing this video, like three minutes and I've made another $4,000 profit. It's just like, you know, the money is, is flowing on the short trades right now. I have no reason to long this. I have no reason to take profits. I'm expecting lower bearish bias remains. And you now know my next levels to the downside. The invalidation for me, yeah, would be a reclaim of the, of the uh, value area high for me. Okay. Because until that happens, you know, that's the only thing that's going to invalidate these, these divergences that I'm looking at right now. Um, so you know, I, I hope that you understand what I've been talking about in this video and why we got the move to the downside. It's just really important. You know, I come in here every single day. I'm giving you content. I'm, I'm really trying to 
make you get into my brain and understand my thought processes. Because why? I truly believe I'm, I'm, you know, not even myself just believing this. Like I'm showing you the results day on day on day on day on day. The predictions that we're making, okay, they're playing out real perfectly, right? The, even the local channels, even the local channels from the day trades, like these levels, look at the respect of the levels. The, the respect is just absolutely perfect. So we're coming in here. We're consistently making money. We're consistently making good trades. And I want you to get into now my thought process of, you know, how I'm managing these trades once I'm into it, right? And so for me, I'm in the short position from higher. I am now managing this based off of the order flow on the lower term time frames and the correlation with other markets. From there, I'm making an informed decision of saying, okay, I feel the highest probability is still more downside. From there, I know my next level. And from there, I know I'm going to trade the reaction. Is it a bullish or a bearish reaction? That can be a simple yes or no answer. Okay. And I know that if we get a nice reaction, then I get another trade. If there's no nice reaction, then I simply look for my next level to the downside. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how a professional comes in here every single day, understands the market and makes informed decisions. And that's how you go from, you know, low to high win rates. You really have to pay attention to the order flow. This for me is, is very, 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 very important, obviously. Um, I'll end ladies and gentlemen that if you, you know, this has been a relatively quick video, but I hope that you've understood my analysis. I hope that you understand I've just kept this professional and quick. Why? Because I'm also actively trading this right now. I do need to pay like close attention to what's happening here. But if you want to learn more from us, then of course you can come over to chartchampions.com where we've got all the educational material. We've got daily live streams. We've even got live trading streams now. So if you want the live trading streams, if you want the daily updates, if you want all the educational content, well, then you can get that over at chartchampions.com. All the education, all the live trading and literally daily live streams as well. So everything that you need is over on the website. If you want that, as well as the updates that I do within my Discord, and you can also check out the live stream that I done last night. That's all over, yeah, chartchampions.com. Just going to say that. Thank you ever so much. Thank you ever so much for all the support. I mean, these comments are lovely. This guy, sign up on Chart Champions if you want to learn how to read the charts and apply risk management. Everybody stop wishing for the moon or praying for the bottom. You'll eventually get burned that way. Trade level to level like Daniel, the Chart Champions, always preaches to the community. That's what we preach. That's what we do. And that's how we are here making money every day. So yeah, really nice to see all the feedback. Really happy to see that it's all appreciated and loved. And you know, for that, I'm more than happy to just keep on giving you this content. So yeah, thank you ever so much. Um, really, 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 really appreciate every comment, every like. It's it's really, really, really nice. <laughs> um, just gives me a smile. And with me, with a smile, I love to trade. And I'm, I'm really happy to just bring you this. So yeah, that's it. That's the quick update. Nevertheless, quick but powerful when you understand what I'm talking about here. And uh, yeah, let's get ready to crush the week ahead. Okay, thank you ever so much everybody. That's me signing out. Enjoy the week ahead. If you want to see more, catch me over in the Discord, chartchampions.com. Thank you ever so much, everybody. And yeah, let's go. Cheers. Thank you. And goodbye. And I'll end obviously with the disclaimer of um, no financial advice. It's just an entertainment educational video only. You have to do your own research at the end of the day. Of course, our trades are then on the paper demo trade accounts. Cheers, everybody. Thanks. Goodbye.